Hello, good morning everyone. Welcome to our virtual class. By the way, I'm Jamalia Inero and I'm your MAPI teacher this morning. Our topic this morning class is all about Neoclassical Theater, 1800s to 1900s. This is our objectives. A defines the Neoclassical new Theater period, appreciates the uniqueness of Neoclassical Theater, create simple must. The new classical period was a movement where the styles of Roman and Greek societies influenced the theater arts. During the new classical period, the theater was characterized by its grandiosity. Costumes and sceneries were highly elaborate. The main concepts of the place were to entertain and to teach lessons. Stages were styled with dramatic art to, art to highlight the scenes. Multiple entry points on the stage were evident in many places. Lightning and sound effects intensified the mood and message of each scene, enhancing the dramatic experience. The aging scenery and backdrops become more noticeable, particularly with the invention of poly systems that allow parts to move more quickly across the stage. The concept of decorum, or meaning the right and the proper audience behavior, was applied in this period, which means classical concepts and appropriate social behavior must be observed. So this is the example of their stage. This period officially established just two types of plays, tragedy and comedy. They never mix these together, and the restriction led to the use of the, of the now well-known pair of happy and sad masks that symbolize the theatrical arts. Tragedies portrayed and complex and faithful lives of the upper classes and royals, while comedies were, which were either public discourse or comedies of manners, tended to focus on the lower ranks of society. Observance and to this generous was critical to a play success. Three playwrights achieved a significant amount of success. Perry Cornell, 1606-1684, was often called the father of the French tragedy, writing scripts for more than four decades. One of these was the said or Jean Baptiste Pocolin, better known as Muller. 1622-1673, was known for his comedies, Tortofe, and the uh, Misan Tropel was one of his works. Jean Rossini, 1639-1699, was a tra tragedian beloved for his simple approach to action and the linguistic rhythms and effects he achieved. And Roman, Romach and Pydra, was one of his scripts. These men were, ab were able to take elements from classical Greek and Roman literature and transform them into plays. Trivia about the new classical theater. First, spotlight was used in the U.S. during this period and was pictured, pictured above. The Theater Regulation Act of 1843 banned drinking in legitimate theaters. Many tavern owners took advantage of the situations and renovate their establishment to accommodate live performance. So, any clarification, suggestions about our topic this morning? So, if none, thank you so much for listening. And don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel at www.gaitf.com. And don't forget to open your LCMS. Thank you.